Hey everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. In this video, we wanna take a look at some additional activities that you might uh, do when it comes to branching. We just looked at the main things, the stuff that you gotta do with branching, but this is extra stuff. You may or may not do these things. So I actually wanna start here in Flare and just kind of work our way through this source control ribbon because this is where a lot of the stuff is. Now, let's just kind of go left to right. Source control explorer, we've already looked at that. Pending changes, I haven't gotten to that in these videos really, I showed it, but I didn't really use it. I tend to use the source control explorer. I use these buttons down here, uh, but if you wanna use this, a lot of people like to use this view, that's cool. Now add, that is just a, a button that's used when, when you're adding new files to your project and you wanna add those to, to uh, source control. I, I've never even used this button. Uh, and the reason is as I'm working, I'm usually just making changes in files and I'm adding new files or I'm deleting files. And I'm just thinking in terms of, all right, this is all kind of related. What, I, what I'm working on, and it just kind of gets added to my pending changes, the additions, the modifications, the deletions, and I make them all part of the commit. And so I don't actually use that button, but you might. Commit, we've been doing commits, uh, but I've been really clicking these buttons, this button down here and using the source control, uh, explore the uh, pending check in the pending changes view. Uh, but you can, if you have a single topic where you've made a change, you can click commit, it'll commit that, or you can click commit all and it'll, you know, it'll allow you to uh, make commits to all the changes, all the, all the files you've done. So that's just another way to do it. Revert, I've talked about that earlier in this video series, and that's a fancy undo. Okay, so when you, uh, decide, all right, I need to back out of this change. And, and you can do it for individual files. Like I can just type in here, I can type the word uh, blah, all right? And I do a save. And of course, down here it's showing, all right, that's a pending change that you got to commit here. But then I might decide, eh, I don't, I don't really want to do that. So I click revert and it will bring up this dialog. This is the only, is just one file and it's already checked. So I say, yeah, just, just revert that. I change my mind and you get out of it. And so it removes that pending change. And you could do the same thing for multiple files. So I could type blah here, save that. Let's go open up another topic in here and I'll type blah in here also and save it. And so now I can do, revert all, and that's going to list every file that I've changed. And so I might decide, oh, I want to revert one of them, but not the other. So I could do that. I'm going to keep it in attractions. I'm going to revert Austin city limits. So I do a revert like that. Uh, this one's actually set for a review. Uh, I didn't even notice that when I was changing that, but that's another story. Uh, so got rid of that blah. And this one is still there. And uh, so I just, I still have that commit. I, it, it kept it. All right, so that's revert. Show differences. So I can see uh, differences between on a file, the active file that I have, the differences between what I have locally and what's up on the remote location. All right, so I can see what is different here. And so I go here. And this is the server version. And over here on the right is the local version. And you can see it highlighted this thing for, for me. I typed the word blah. It's not up there on the server. So it's just showing me the differences. I don't usually use this. Uh, when I look at differences, it's usually when I'm dealing with conflicts, which is another movie that I'm going to deal with where it's, it's things are colliding and I have to see what the differences are before I make decisions. So I'll cover that later, but so I don't usually use that either. And then view history. You can view history for an individual file or for an entire branch. So view history on this topic right here. And you're gonna be able to see over time, I've made different changes. There's the comments, there's times, there's who did it. And then if you want, you can get a selected version, or you can show the differences between things in here. So 
it's just uh, there's another option, another thing that you can do. Refresh, it speaks for itself. We've already done all this stuff. Branch history, I will look at from time to time. Uh, once you click in here, you're going to see all the stuff that's been going on for uh, this branch, um, all the changes, all the, you know, all the commits in here, and you see the comments associated with them. And you can do a revert on a, uh, on a commit, get rid of all the changes in there. So using that right there. When I view history, I actually, I, I, just because I inherited uh, Visual Studio years ago, and I'm used to the history in that, I usually look at the history in Visual Studio. It's a different view, and it allows me to do a couple of other things. One of them is to look at custom tags, which I uh, am actually going to cover. I'm going to talk about that in the final video and tips and tricks and best practices, how I create these custom tags, and it assists me with doing hot fixes. So when I'm looking at the history, I usually do it there, but you can certainly do it in here. We've already done, looked at the branches when we've looked at merge. We just were like merge. We were using a different UI for it. We were, um, you know, that can be done here where you're, when you're uh, merging branches in here. All right. And then network settings. I showed that earlier. I had actually never even looked at network settings, but maybe you'll have a need to do that. OK, so those are just some of the extra things that you may or may not do. Um, one of the things that I absolutely do from time to time is delete branches, uh, because what happens if you remember from the Git flow and branching video that I did, talk about how you go through a release cycle and you're merging feature branches into the release. And then that eventually goes into the master branch. And then these feature branches are just kind of out there and you don't need them anymore. And so you don't have to delete them, but I like to uh, because I just don't, I don't like clutter. And, uh, but I always wait till after the release. I tell actually, I absolutely know I don't need them anymore. So I'm gonna take you through that. And this is actually really, there's a couple of places where you can delete branches. One of them is here in the, um, in, in the source control explorer. You can see I can select a branch and click delete branch. Now I'm on feature one right here. So if I click on that, it's disabled. I can't delete it from there. But another place where you can delete branches is, uh, which is probably preferable is in the branch management dialog. So I'm just going to click on this feature, the name of there, and you can see I got my locals and I got remotes. That's why it's so useful here is because I can choose either or both. So let's look and see. I've got feature four, for example. I've got that locally and I've got that remotely. And so I might decide, hey, we've already gone through the release, feature four is done, it's put to bed, don't, we just don't need this thing anymore. So I could just click on either side, locals or remotes, and I could select delete. And if I select on the, select it on the local side, it says, all right, we're gonna delete it. Do you also wanna delete it from the remote branch? And to select that, if I do, click okay. And it's the opposite if I go in here and select the remote side, Feature four, I select delete. It says, okay, we're gonna delete the remote. Do you also wanna delete the local branch? So I can do it from there. It doesn't matter, it's doing the same thing. So you can delete either remote or locals or both by clicking the checkbox. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna delete both. Click okay. And just give it a moment here. And there it goes. So it's gone from the remotes gone from locals, close this. You see it's still here. Sometimes you have to refresh, refresh that, and it's gone. Now, what about other writers? So let's go to another writer who might have this uh, same project and have that same branch. Okay, so I'm in Jeff Lebowski's copy of this project. And if we go to uh, Source Control Explorer in here, you see he has features, you know, one, two, four, six, master release. And so he's got four in here locally. Um, maybe, you know, he was working with this in the past, but you got, you agree as a team, yeah, you just don't need this thing anymore. 
Um, so what about if we look in his branch management dialogue, what do we see? So yeah, it's there locally, remotely, it's there as well. This is what I was talking about in an earlier video where you, you do a poll, it'll refresh this. So let's close out of this and let's have him do a poll from Central because I already removed the thing remotely and locally. <clears throat> okay, so it goes through that. Now let's go back to the branch management dialog and it's gone remotely. I still have it locally because it doesn't know. It doesn't know if I wanna get rid of it or not, but uh, you know, we communicate as a team. We decide, yeah, we don't really need that anymore. Let's get rid of it. It doesn't even see the one up there remotely anymore. So the dialogue's a little different. It just says, do you wanna proceed? Yeah, I do. It's gone, close here, refresh here, and we're in sync. So there are lots of extra things that you can do with branches. Some of those, as you see, you can do in Flare itself. And you might discover other, uh, other things that you can do with branches, um, but maybe you want to use the command line. I, it, you just kind of discover these things as you need them. So if you, if you need to do these other things, do them. If you don't, don't worry about it you're good to go. So that's it for this video. Let's just keep going uh, with this video series.